to install the extractor hood. Before installing the extractor hood, read the instructions carefully. The cabinet for the hood is mounted without a bottom piece. You also need to cut a hole for the extractor pipe. A pattern for that comes with the assembly instructions for the hood. Use the other pattern for making smaller cavities on the inner sides of the cabinet. Remove all plastic protection covers and fix the hood. There are different ways to fit the pipes. Have a look at the assembly instructions. It is wise to install the hood before the hob is in place. The hob could easily crack if you accidentally drop the extractor hood during installation. The cabinet for the extractor hood should be mounted without the bottom piece. However, sometimes it happens that our customers discover this too late. We will show you how to solve that now. Saw a diagonal cut in the bottom piece all the way into the back piece. Be careful not to make marks. Loosen the cam locks before taking away the bottom piece. Remove the screws and the dowels. How to install an oven in a base cabinet. When installing the oven with an adjustable shelf, read the assembly instructions to find out the correct height for the support rail. Measure where to put the reinforced shelf on which the oven stands. Fix the rail with the screws included in the oven package. These will, over time, prevent the shelf from moving due to the weight of the oven. After you've installed the oven, you may need to change the position of the shelf. So avoid fixing the shelf too tightly. Adjust the cabinet rail to create a ventilation gap. How to install an integrated dishwasher. Some countries' laws and regulations state that our customers use a protection shield for leakage. First, put the devices for connecting the dishwasher with the cabinets in place. Next, use the filler piece to cover the gap between the machine and the cabinet. Then, Fix the pads to protect the cabinet and worktops from scratches during the installation. Adjust the height of the legs in the front and in the back. There are various solutions on how to fit water pipes and electrical cables. In this case, we fit them into the cabinet next to the dishwasher. Time to put the fronts onto the machine. There are several ways to do this, depending on the dishwasher type and how many fronts will cover the machine. In this case, we use a fully integrated dishwasher and three drawer fronts. First, connect the fronts. As stated in the assembly instructions, ensure stability and rigidity of the fronts by using both the pre-drilled holes and by making two to four more holes. There are enough screws for that in the package. Next, put on the sliding hinges. Mount the fronts on the dishwasher. All IKEA dishwashers come with a protection strip that should be placed on the worktop's underside. Finally, align the dishwasher front by adjusting the height of the legs. Before cutting out a hole for the sink and the hob, the worktop's length may need to be adjusted. If using a circular saw, be sure that the guiding rail is correctly fixed to ensure you get a straight cut. In this case we use an anti-slip guiding rail, but G-clamps are commonly used. By putting the worktop on the cabinet for the hob, you can indicate where to saw a hole for the hob. Make sure to remember which side is the worktop's front. 
Follow the assembly instructions and mark the correct measurements for the hob on the worktop. Leave a distance on the worktop's back edge between the wall and the cutout that is at least 55mm. This you need to make sure you have space for whatever wall covering you then use. Put a sealing strip around the hob to avoid liquid or food accidentally leaking down. Next, put on the clips that will ensure the hob sits tightly in the worktop. And last, the hob. If the customer chooses to have the oven in a high cabinet instead of a base cabinet, the hob separator allows you to have a drawer right underneath the hob. Follow the same procedure for installation of the sink. As always, read the assembly instructions carefully before you start. After customising the length and indicating where the sink will sit in the worktop, put the worktop upside down and trace the outline of the sink on the surface. Draw the correct measurements and cut out the space with a jigsaw. If the worktop is on top of a dishwasher, now it's time to put on the protection strip that comes with all our dishwashers. To prevent moisture from penetrating the worktop, apply silicone on the edges and the sealing strip. Place the clips and screws onto the sink. Put the sink in the worktop, fasten the screws and put the worktop in place. Install the drainage according to assembly instructions. The water supply can come from the floor or the wall. We will now show you how to install an integrated fridge and freezer in a high cabinet. A reinforced shelf is used when the freezer's height is shorter than the height of the cabinet door. Follow the same procedures as for the oven shelf. Look in the assembly instructions and measure where to place the upper shelf to which the fridge needs to be fastened. The ventilation grid also prevents smaller things from dropping down behind the fridge and freezer. Time to get the cabinet's doors in place. Fasten the 95 degrees hinges. Plug in and place the fridge and freezer in the high cabinet. The freezer's ice scraper also works as a measurement to ensure the appliance is not pushed too far into the cabinet. Fasten the appliance to the upper shelf and to the cabinet wall. Connect the appliance doors to the ones of the cabinet Finish with the protection cover. To fit our 35cm high products such as this microwave oven into a cabinet, place it on a shelf. The filler piece, Hairlander in stainless steel effect, covers the cavity and creates a nice overall impression. <music> 